Warning, resin is a toxic material and extremely harmful for the respiratory system. When airborne during sanding, grinding or drilling. The dust when breathed in can cause short and long term health problems, including cancer. Please use a particle or dual organic respirator. Thank you. Hello and welcome to another model video. This is Alan from the Moconaman at YouTube with a, another model video. We'll be doing another GK kit, a garage resin model of the Mobile Suit uh, Gundam character Sailor Mass in 1-8 scale. Uh, this is a older casting done by the E2046 website which uh, have a large catalogue and you can buy all sorts of uh, newer and older kits. As uh, typical with uh, most of their models, you get the iconic yellow box, the set of instructions, eye decals on some or most of the figures, as well as a parts breakdown, a photo, and your actual parts wrapped in uh, bubble wrap and all that sort of jazz. According to the paperwork provided, the original model uh, came from the Chara Hobby Expo a long time ago and was an event exclusive. The parts were nicely individually uh, wrapped and expected with this uh, nice uh, card and uh, laid out everything was accounted for and no damage, no serious uh, air bubbles whatsoever, uh, very good cast. Straight off the bat, we clean off any release agents by soaking it in soapy water, giving it a really good uh, scrub, soaping it again, and the secondary scrub in plain water. A lubricant is used in the mold to keep it separate from the resin itself, as to uh, prolong the life of uh, the mold and to prevent anything sticking or going wrong. So. It's an important part of the manufacture process and it's not too hard to clean to keep the price down. Uh, after that, uh, we lay out all the parts and start removing uh, the nubs. The nubs are the very surface of the mould where the resin is poured in. Uh, this is simple as uh, being a softer uh, white resin. Just uh, clip it up with some uh, very heavy duty uh, nippers. Uh, carve it down with a knife and then sand it up with a range of sandpaper. I like to start around uh, the 300 grit and work my way down to 2000. You will also want to consider in the event that any sort of release agent is uh, left over or imperfections, you want to give the whole body a rub down in about uh, 800, 1000 or 2000 grit sandpaper. Do all your sanding, wet sanding, this prevents uh, digging up any dust or um, causing any uh, ill health or uh, danger to yourself as well as not dirtying the environment. When removing nubs, if you dig a little too deep, you can just put a little putty on it and sand it back. I find um, bog putty or uh, filler putty from uh, the automotive section of the shop is also a resin base and sticks very well to the surface. Uh, when assembling, I generally just uh, pinned both uh, surfaces with a brass rod and drilled each side with a pin vise to allow added strength when glued later. With everything test fitted using the uh, pins and it's able to free stand on an old uh, beach uh, queen base that I found from a modification job. This particular sculpt has a few gaps. Uh, there are other Beach Queen looking uh, figures that I've got from E2046 that has a much uh, superior fit. I think it's just this particular model. It uh, does serve you a bit to actually ram a bit of uh, sculpting putty in there and uh, make sure it's nice and flush for the painting stage. Once all of that is done and said, in uh, some of the heavier pieces of resin where two surfaces are glued together and you cannot see it, I'll drill uh, very wide holes so I'm able to stick the alligator clip inside and mount each piece on skewers. This makes it so easy to hold the part and airbrush it, much like when I'm airbrushing individual parts of uh, Gunpla. 
Uh, everything received a grey primer to look for imperfections, scratches, whatnot. Uh, this was treated with putty, uh, sanded back again, and then eventually uh, primed again in white and tones of uh, flesh were applied. I shaded uh, the bikini bits from uh, light grey all the way to light. Uh, as much um, tone as humanly possible applied. I was very playful with the flesh and I feel that I've got it absolutely hands down right, especially for the tone of this figure. Uh, probably a little more contrast would have been cool, but uh, it worked out. Started with uh, some earthy sand colours and worked my way down to uh, Mr. Hobby character flesh one and uh, Mr. Hobby flesh. Other areas was um, shaded further around the uh, creases and um, under the armpits in between the breasts underneath the chin with uh, character flesh too which is a pinky color and a peachy color from the Mr. Beautiful Girl set. Uh, the bikini I wasn't very happy with so I shaded that with uh, white even further and then I gave everything a do over with SMS clear matte. Uh, the hair was also overly yellow, uh, that had to be lightened. To get the shadowing and tones right, I started darker and worked my way uh, lighter up in the piece where the light would roughly uh, hit it as um, realistically as I humanly could, uh, not 100% uh, ideal. Uh, the eyes painted white, the mouth a bit of a sludge wash. After ample amounts of days drying, so I won't scratch any of the paint, uh, it was slowly assembled using a mix of super glue, but mostly uh, PVA glue. Applied a bit thick to make sure that it would fill any of the gaps. Luckily, the bathing suit's white and PVA glue's white. Uh, the slightest amount of gap left behind sort of just left it looking like it's uh, the one solid piece. So that's more luck on my end of uh, the color choice of uh, colors. In the end, very happy, uh, came out uh, very nice, almost pretty much looks like a, a PVC uh, figure. Um, for something that would only cost about 30 to $50, it's <laughs> a lot of effort. Though that's uh, the price for a pre-painted figure. All in all, I had a lot of fun. I've learnt a lot more on this uh, project. It's gotten very good feedback. I'm definitely on another few GK kits and feel it'll just uh, improve from here from uh, every little mistake I make and every little uh, project uh, done. I've been told the more fleshier and um, bathing suit uh, kits are harder and I can understand that because you can't hide between uh, folds of clothes that overlap with uh, got uh, seams to deal with but it is what it is thank you very much for watching as always until next time stay tuned for further content have a look at the description bar for sources and interesting links where to get things where i found things uh, have a look at facebook i post things there somewhat uh, regularly especially if something happens on uh, youtube and vice versa if you're on facebook for youtube see you later